Have you heard of Vibe Coding? It's a brand new way to build apps, not with complex syntax, but with your ideas. You describe the vibe and the code writes itself. In this video, I will show you exactly how to do Vibe Coding and we will build a financial analysis app that can automatically do variance analysis between your actuals and forecasts. So let's start. For this, we will use two main tools. The first one, ChatGPT. This one to generate all of the prompts that you will be using in order to do vibe coding. And the second one, createanything.com to instantly turn that prompt into a working web application. No coding needed. Are you ready to start? This is basically what we will be building. As you can see in this app, you can do variance analysis reports with accounts, categories, budget actuals, and then the variance. Now this web application can export PDFs and download in seconds your variance analysis. That will look like this with an executive summary metrics and then the variance analysis table. You can even include some graphs as well. Now, how exactly will you do this? Well, as I was mentioning, we will be using two main tools. The first one is ChatGPT in order to get the prompt to use. Now, you can see in here that my prompt was quite extensive. I will be adding my prompt in the comments below so that you can just copy and paste it. But still, it's quite a big one. I was telling Create Anything that I wanted it to build an interactive FPNA variance analyzer tool that would allow the user to upload actuals and budget. And I added it what I wanted to do in terms of variance analysis, visualization, executive summary, and so on and so on. Now, I did not write everything in here. Instead, I used ChatGPT for that. So I will give you this other prompt. You only need to tell it to give you a good prompt to add into anything AI to build, in this case, this FPNA variance analyzer. And that I wanted the user to add actuals and budget. Now you can replace all of these with a different application. As you can see, then it gave me the full prompt and I just needed to copy paste into create anything. Now, how exactly do you do that? Well, I will just do go and add a new project. Now in here, I would be using them ChatGPT prompt, so copy here, and then paste into the app idea. Now, in Create Anything, you could also upload different integrations or images. You can also tell it to use either the automatic, or if you upgrade, then you can use thinking, discussion, or fast. Right now, I'm using the free version, so I'm only doing the automatic. And in default, you can also select one particular LLM model. Now, I sent this one and this, and then as you can see, create anything will be starting to design our product. Now, in this case, it's going to all of the prompt that we just sent and then using first this UX recommendations in order to create the tool for us. As you can see, it's thinking in here and it's telling us exactly what it is doing. Right now, building this comprehensive FPNA variance analyzer tool for us. Building the framework, the requirements, 
And at this stage, we just need to wait. As you can see, it's creating the code for us and also the file structure. In the meantime, that we wait for this application to be built, I want to show you one more thing. A lot of times after creating the app, you will need a data set in order to test this application. So you can also ask ChatGPT to generate, let's say in this case, a complex Excel, a downloadable Excel with these specifications for these uh, columns. And then for a specific company, in this case of software as a service company, and then three years worth of data. In this case, then we will have already the Excel file in order to upload to our tool. Now I had some upload errors and then I copy pasted the error and then I add, ask it to generate me another Excel file. So this one, I'll be also adding that one into the comments below so you can uh, test it. Now, coming back to create anything, as you can see, it created now three files for us and is now reading a documentation and analyzing the context. So in a couple more minutes, we will have our application. You can also go and click in here in the thinking part and see exactly what it is building. In this case, it's telling us that it is breaking down this into components. So the front end components, then the back end, the database, and then it will start creating step by step all of these uh, components for us, as you can see that it is doing. Right now, it has created already the um, first page, let's say, the initial state, then a file in here for data upload, the variance analysis one, the waterfall chart that we ask, executive summary, and then commentary. And right now it's creating one more component for us. So now we have our application. Now in here, we can drop the PNL file as I will be doing now. And as you will see, in a matter of seconds, it is creating this dashboard for me with the variance analysis at the top, top favorable variances, unfavorable ones, and detailed PNL variance analysis. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of different accounts in there. And then I can go ahead and save this analysis or export as PDF. Now, with this same application, as you can see here, I have different visuals like the budget to actual waterfall with all of the different accounts, expense categories, cost structure, and key performance indicators. I also have my executive summary in here with key takeaways, positive drivers, areas of concern, risks, and opportunities, and my commentary per account. In the Excel file, I had 73 accounts. So I had 73 commentaries in here. All done automatically for me on this application that we just created in matter of minutes. Now, I will be showing the link to this app so that you can use it as well. 
and the Excel file that I'm using. And I will give you the link as well for this tool, Create Anything. So you can try it out.